But apparently there's like a new massive fucking ad campaign about how um, anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism. So we're gonna check that out. Everyone's getting these videos by like this out of nowhere organization that is part of the long-standing American pro-Israel lobby that basically it's a, it's a campaign that exists to try and claim that talking about Israel and referring to it in 100% true and accurate terms is actually anti-semitism you know this is just a channel that popped up recently and um basically all of their views there's no room they can't come, come there from them buying ads on YouTube so I, I'm wondering if we can look up this organization that's it, it's called China light on anti-semitism but like everybody that they have is like about how anti-semitism is actually being against Israel feels like he's supposed the Holocaust. Wait, they don't have like any, whereas like the abouts on their website or anything, partners maybe? Who, who is this? Israeli American Council? Communism is based. They don't seem to like mention like who their um, executives are and stuff. I mean, they're partnered with the ADL, who are another organization that is basically all about, all about doing exactly what I just said. Stand with us massive organization that just does nothing well, not massive as an organization but they are massive at like um equating anything to do with israel to be anti like criticism of israel attack on israel to be anti-semitic they have an organization here that literally says christians united for israel holy shit they're sponsored by like the insane evangelicals who believe that israel needs to exist to to like bring back the messiah so that's great this is very un non-transparent though like, it's just a list of organizations, most of these being pro-Israel organizations as well. But they don't have, like, a list of their own, like, board members and shit. Speakers. I don't recognize any of these people. Yeah, Rosenberg. I know that guy. That's the guy who spams Twitter about how um, Palestinian existence is anti-Semitic. Basically, exactly what you would expect. Emily Schrader. She's one of those people, too. It's like all... Barry Weiss. It's like all the fucking B-list American Zionists. So, of course... Of course, you, you know what the content of the video is going to be, right? You know is what it it's going to be. It's going to be saying that, of course, it's not anti-Semitic to, cri to criticize Israel and then proceeding to list every single possible criticism of Israel. Now, using the term criticism to refer to Israel, by the way, is dumb because it's like saying, it's, of course, it's okay to critique the Nazi party. And of course, they, they, they definitely think it's anti-Semitic that I said that. Don't worry. Of course they do. I critique like a movie. I critique like a book. I critique like the content of like a welfare bill. I don't critique a settler -like colonial nation state. I denounce it. And who is this even? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe, maybe I'll list her credentials at the end of the video. Is it anti-Semitic to criticize Israel? No. No country is immune from criticism. In fact, protesting or criticizing your government without fear is a sign of a healthy democracy. This must be like an, made by like some fucking the most milquetoast boring ad agency possible. Listen to the fucking music, the presentation, everything about it. Well, let's be clear. There is a line between legitimate criticism and anti-Semitism. Wow, Way too see. often anti-Israel protesters cross that line and anti-Semites co-opt the results. So where is that line? What distinguishes legitimate criticism from anti-Semitism? Let's start. I can't wait to find out about this from a pro-Israel organization sponsored by like evangelical Christians for the return to Zion. I can't wait to see what they have to say about this. Start with the obvious. It is never okay to say things like this, this, or this. And it's... I mean, yeah. What does it do with Israel though? And it's never okay to attack Jews or vandalize Jewish institutions as a form of protest against the Israeli government. But anti-Semitic language disguised as criticism of Israel can be far more subtle. Presenting Zionism as colonialism or racism erases Jewish history and denies that... Do you fucking see? Exactly, exactly, exactly. They go from like taking random tweets of people saying anti-Semitic shit and then literally, literally five seconds later with like this sleight of hand Calling Israel colonialism, now that's also anti-Semitic. Like, resist Zionism and imperialism? Resisting Zionism? Resisting the colonization of Palestine? Um, that's a- that's kind of anti-Semitic, my dude. Not allowing yourself to be colonized by foreign invaders? Um, that's kind of problematic, my dude. And then, like, the other example they give- See, the thing is, it's a Star of David equals Nazi sign, not a swastika. Now this could just be someone making a very unfortunate error of taking the Star of David and thinking it's like an, just an Israeli flag symbol. But the thing is, Israel put the Star of David in their flag. So using the Star of David, as long as you know you mean it to be a reference to the Israeli flag, is not 
anti-Semitic in of itself. Using like a yellow star or something like that absolutely would would be obviously. But uh, this uh, this is definitely them trying to equate someone comparing Israel to the Nazis with being anti-Semitic in of itself. Someone using the Star of David because it's on the Israeli flag, obviously. It's obviously a symbol of Israel, not just of Judaism, because Israel uses it in their fucking flag. So, you know, it depends on the context and how it's being used. And in this case, it's obviously being used to make a comparison to the Nazis in Israel. You can do that, 100% sure. You know why? You know why? Because Israel mimics plenty of fucking Nazi practices. And a great way for Israel to not be compared to the Nazis would be for them not to do so much shit the Nazis also did. A little piece of advice for you there. To call that anti-Semitic is obviously just trying to shut down completely valid comparisons. If you don't want to be compared to another racial fascist settler state, don't be a racial fascist settler state. It really is that simple. A racism erases Jewish history and denies that Jews are indigenous to the land of Israel. Oh, yes. Denying indigeneity because I think that 3,000 years ago, I had an ancestor who lived in this place. That's not what indigeneity is. I've already been over this in my video on the topic. If, if you don't think that I had the divine right to move to Palestine, expel as many Palestinians as I could get away with and move into that Palestinian's house, you're an anti-Semite. Source? Well, 3,000 years ago, Here's a text written in Hebrew, and I believe that I may have been related to someone who lived here 3,000 years ago. Amazing argument. They know they can't deal with these um, points, right? They know they can't deal with these arguments. And the solution to that is just to vaguely gesture and say that it's anti-Semitic. Erasing 4,000 years. Right after like 20 seconds earlier, they were showing actual anti-Semitic tweets to try and say that like, um, this is, this is um, exactly the same as those. Of Jewish identity, history, and practice. That is anti-Semitic. This is another line that- It's just kind of weird too. So, for example, if I was to say that um, Aristotle didn't exist and Socrates was a piece of shit bastard who was actually Turkish, would I be anti-Greek because I am erasing Greek history? I don't think anyone would ever make that accusation. I think they would just kind of laugh. Like, you can really tell when, when they try and um, essentially force you to believe in their own self-mythology that connects them, like, by some sort of divine genetic right with people who live somewhere 4,000 years ago. And if you if you refuse to acknowledge our divine genetic right, that makes you anti-Semitic. And yeah, obviously the original Zionists were like, we are colonizers, we love colonizers. We love you, Cecil Rhodes, please help us. And now look at the, the examples that they're using now. Saying that Israel is committing genocide, which it factually is and has been since the very beginning. Saying that, um... The Israeli government is racist and fascist, which it obviously is, and that they kill babies. Yeah, they do. Children killed by Israel. According to Wikipedia, first thing that shows up, which is certainly a low estimate, because considering the kind of people who edit Wikipedia, 850 children killed by Israel in, the la in 10 years. Sounds like calling them baby killing. Baby killers is pretty fucking okay. Because they factually kill babies. A great way to not be called a baby killer is to not kill babies. It's pretty simple. That shouldn't be crossed. It's anti-Semitic to compare a sovereign and democratic state to genocidal fascism. It's not a comparison. No one's making comparison there. All they have to do is point to what you do. Anyone can look at Israel and see that. There's no there's not even a comparison there saying that Israel is doing genocide. Israel is racist, Israel is fascist, Israel kills babies. That's not a comparison. Those are just facts. Citing factual information that literally everyone with a brain knows and can clearly see, that's anti-Semitism. Apparently, the reality of, of what Israel does is, is anti-Semitic. Someone should tell Israel that. Maybe it, sh maybe it should stop doing those things then. Maybe that would help. When you're comparing Israel to Nazism, that's just simple anti-Semitism. Why? Why is comparing a country that mimics many of the practices of the Nazis right fucking now anti-Semitic? Tell us. Oh, she's not going to. I mean, she's, I don't know. I shouldn't say she. She's just like some paid actor. She didn't write this, obviously. But claiming that Israel is an apartheid state, does that cross? Do, do you think they just like found like a random black actress? Because I don't know how, I don't know who this is. Line. Again, criticism and they're, they're is not credited. Fine. And there are grounds to criticize, as there are for any country, just not wrapped in lies that demonize Israel alone. Like all countries, Israel is not perfect, but a far cry from apartheid. Israel tied. So while it's become common. Oh, so to she, she just has this, she doesn't have to. This is like how the propaganda works. They know they cannot argue these points. So the, what they have to do now is just say that they're wrong. Just say that they're wrong with no elaboration and say that like, even 
Even arguing that is by default anti-Semitic. If there is ever any indication that Israel is absolutely in tatters in the war for hearts and minds, this is it. This is it. They can't, they can't do it anymore. They can't manage it anymore. They don't even have like talking points anymore. All they have is saying this, acknowledging the, the basic reality of what's going on. That is anti-Semitic. No, I will not elaborate. They are losing. All they have left going for them is the support of Western governments. Get rid of that and they're totally fucked. Call Israel an apartheid state? It's also a lie, engineered to delegitimize Israel and Israel alone. Comparing Zionism to Nazism and accusing Israel of colonialism and apartheid quickly moves to the accusation that Jews have dual loyalty. What? How in the fuck is that even remotely related? Resistance against colonialism is not a crime, it's a duty. And then the next one is like saying um, the Jews are behind some sort of anti-white conspiracy. This is how they operate. They take something completely unobjectionable. Resistance against colonialism is not a crime. And they somehow try and connect this with like some fucking um, KKK white supremacist propaganda poster. Totally unrelated, but they're trying to say that this one led to this. Okay, this one somehow led to this. I got news for you, lady. Or not for you, for whoever's paying you. For whoever's, you know, whoever pays you to read this script. Anti-Semitism, in this vein, predates this by about 500 years. So this doesn't lead to this, okay? Not even, not even remotely. Not even fucking, that, this, this is totally unrelated. This is a response to what Israel does to Palestinians, which is not just apartheid, much worse, settler colonial genocide. The theft of another people's country by foreign invading aggressive race, racial supremacist settler colonists who never had any intention but to seize the land from its previous inhabitants and replace them on a racial basis with an ethno state okay and this is just classic generic european style anti-semitism dating back hundreds upon hundreds of years it's not even anti-semitic obviously not even close trying to link them is just bonkers idiotic garbage that Jews have dual loyalty or use money to control politics. How does that have anything to do with fucking... It doesn't even mention Israel in this fucking moronic, um, moronic thing. Like the accusation that politicians who support Israel are promoting allegiance to a foreign country and the suggestion that Jews buy political support. This is anti-Semitism being passed off as legitimate criticism of Israel. But it's passed off as anti-Semitism being... Support. This I mean, there is factually, there are factually very strong pro-Israel lobbies in the U.S. Though, hilariously, the vast majority of their integrants, the vast majority of the people who support them, aren't even Jewish. In fact, the biggest supporters of the Israel lobby in the U.S. are insane evangelical religious Christians, alongside just like your generic um, war hawk genocidal ghouls who like Israel because it, it defends American interests in the Middle East allegiance to a foreign country i think like for this one they, it seems like they couldn't actually find any examples so they just like like just put their own shit on the screen to be like this is what they say to try and insinuate that if you say that there is like a pro-israel lobby in the and by the way the u.s doesn't the u.s government doesn't need to be lobbied to be pro-israel in the first place so um i'm not really sure why the pro-israel lobby even really exists i'm not sure what they're for they don't need to exist but they do exist regardless and it has nothing to do with Jews buying political support as much as they want to try and frame it that way. It mostly has to do with like insane white evangelical Christians and um, neocons wanting Israel to be strong so that it can um, drive a wedge between the rest of the Middle East in the name of US imperialism. Are promoting allegiance to a foreign country and the suggestion that Jews buy political support. Yeah, they support. are absolutely equating Jews with the state of Israel, which is unironically un un anti-Semitic. This is anti-Semitism being passed They just like put random anti-Semitic comics on the screen while um, slyly throwing in like shit like this that has literally not even anything that could even remotely be spun as anti-Semitism in it to try and imply they're the same. This is such an amazing example of how this sort of shit works. Criticism of Israel, but it's not legitimate. It's anti-Semitism. Plain and simple. Why? Because so I let's said recap so. and redraw the lines. You what you haven't you haven't even you haven't even formed an argument yet. You're re you're concluding? You can absolutely criticize Israel in a legitimate way as you would criticize other countries by focusing on policies and actions. But singling out Israel as the only pariah state in the world? Not okay. 
Well, there are very few other countries in the world today that are in the early stage of settler colonialism like Israel is right now, just as South Africa was. Yeah, Israel is and should be a pariah state, absolutely. fucking lutely Let's make it one. Let's fucking make it one. Because at least today, there are very few other places in the world that are in the stage of settler colonialism that Israel is, where it can still be fought and stopped before it gets to the stage that it is in other countries that ironically is all Israel's biggest backer, like the US, for example. Let's make it a fucking pariah. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with singling out Israel. If Israel doesn't want to be singled out, perhaps it shouldn't be a, an ethno-nationalist, settler colonial, genocidal ethno state, you know? Perhaps it shouldn't do that. It's pr really fucking simple. Like, if South Africa didn't want to be singled out, perhaps it, it shouldn't have been a disgusting settler colonial ethno state, which basically enslaved ba black people for the benefit of white people. Perhaps. I don't know. Or spreading lies in order to demonize Israel? It's not okay. Singling out Jews or erasing Jewish history and identity is not okay. Using Nazi symbols and gestures? Not okay. And promoting anti-Semitic language or imagery? Is not okay. Yeah, like, like, um, like this. Like, resistance against colonialism is not a crime. Not okay. That's hatred of Jews, and it has no place in any conversation. Join the movement to shine a light on anti-Semitism. Go to shine- Man, they are dead, like, not only are they desperate, not only does this show how definitively they just can't even deal with the arguments anymore, but it's just so bland, boring, sanitized, on top of being stupid. This is the best they got. This is the best they got. Israel's gonna be gone in the next 20 years, my dude. Yeah, it really seems like a parody. Who would watch this and be like, oh man, I really learned something from this. It's like they're talking to a four-year-old or something. A four-year-old who's never heard of Palestine before. Truly insane that all the things at the end that are not okay have been done to Palestinians by Israel. Yeah, that is true. It's okay to criticize Israel. Cut to two minutes of saying the main critiques of Israel are anti-Semitic. Well played. Yeah, exactly. It, fucking exactly. Join the movement to shine a light on anti-Semitism. Wow, this is Go to shine a this light. This is an embarrassing video. This is the best propaganda they got. And who is who is the presenter? Is she an actor? She's in this video as well. It's so like they don't credit the people in the videos. Yeah, it has 1.6 million views because it, they're, they're, they're spamming it in ads, in pre-roll ads. So most of those user people are just waiting 20 seconds so they can skip the video. Hate Let's doesn't exist in a vacuum. One form of hate leads to another. And there is one form of hatred on the rise in the US, often passed off as legitimate discourse or just ignored. Anti-Semitism. When you speak out against one form of hatred, you are fighting against all forms of hatred. Shine a light on anti-Semitism. It's like the implication here that being against Israel is anti-Semitic, because that's what they, that's the only thing they would mean by it being framed as a legitimate discourse, because actual anti-Semitism is obviously not framed as, as legitimate discourse. So that's the only possible implication here. In this, in the thumbnail for this video here, the truth about anti-Semitism, there's a guy holding a sign saying Israel has no right to exist, alongside a picture of a guy stabbing a Jewish man. And according to these people, those are both anti-Semitic. This channel is just such sanitized, like, sanitized PR firm idiocy. Embarrassing. I don't even know what to say. It's as I said, like, I don't even know, like, there's not much to say about it because it's the most generic. Like, like, if I, if I was at, like, um, an ad executive and someone said, hey, could you, like, phone in a campaign trying to equate, um, being against Israel with anti-Semitism real quick? This is what I would make. I would make this channel, especially in the US, there's, there's this um, huge like um, current of organizations, like they try to present themselves as just like being an anti-anti-Semitism organization, which would obviously be good, except they're not that at all. Their main current, their main purpose is to try and say that um, being against Israel is anti-Semitic, that all of the common, very true attacks on Israel about how it's a settler colonial state, how it does apartheid, all those things are by default anti-Semitic. The ADL is one of them, has been for a long time now. And this is another one in that exact light. And it, it's like the worst, the worst that I could ever imagine. Who is the, like, who are the, the stars of this video? Who's the guy and who's she? I have like a suspicion that she's not even Jewish. She might just be like a random 
actress they got because she's black and they wanted to be like, we have a nice token here. Speakers. Maybe she's one of their speakers. At least from what I can see, she's not even here. Who the fuck are these people? Partners, resources, workplace. What, 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 what work, what, what workplace would they have? Oh no, it's like, oh, I see the grift. I think this is like one of those, um, workplace consultancy firms that like sells corporations, um, like courses where they teach you how not to be anti-Semitic, like uh, by, by not calling Israel an apartheid state, for example. Workplace partners. Holy shit. Wow. They are, they are big time. They're partnered with Google, American Airlines, some American football team, Full Sail University, L'Oreal, Airbnb, Comcast. So they're in all of these big corporations teaching teaching their workers how um if you call Israel apartheid that's anti-semitic i would like to find out more about this organization but this is one of the least transparent websites i've ever seen they don't actually have any information about like who runs the organization or anything wow this organization is like bigger than it seems they're not just like some random random propaganda or like you know producing random propaganda videos on youtube they're actually like selling like anti-Semitism education um, seminars and shit to corporations where presumably like, like, you know, someone from their organization shows up and like the workers are forced into like an auditorium or something to learn about anti-Semitism from someone who's going to tell them that anti-Semitism is when you call Israel colonialism or apartheid. This is fucking weird as shit. And I, I can't find out shit about them. Press inquiries. Like they don't have like a list of a board of directors or anything. They don't have... Any um, footnote thing on the page. I don't think I've ever seen like a less transparent website. The MLB. The MLB. Wow, like this is not just like a random um, propaganda video. This is like part of a, I don't know, they just came out of fucking nowhere really. And now they're in, they're in like the fucking MLB apparently. The Major League Baseball, most important baseball league in the world. Teaching on, um, I guess, all the players there about how um, calling Israel apartheid is anti-Semitic. It's an ADL initiative. Oh, okay, that, that explains. That, that's, oh, yeah. Oh, it's weird that they don't list it openly on, on the Shine a Light website. Seem, that's, yeah, it's just, it's just the fuck, it's just the ADL. Okay, it's, it's just the ADL. That's why, that's why they are suspiciously like the ADL, because they literally are the ADL. That's why all the talking points are just ADL talking points. Okay, okay. Mystery solved. It wasn't even a mystery. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's not really much more to say about this. The, the propaganda is, is a fuck. It's terrible. It's a joke. It's garbage. It's little more than pathetic attempts to say that any anti-Israel argument that they have no idea how to deal with is anti-Semitic. As a sort of last gasp, as they realize full-throatedly now that they are losing the war for the hearts and minds, so to speak, of the world. That Israel is losing and Palestine is winning. And that, that the continuation of their settler colonial ethno state, that apartheid settler colonial ethno state, is going to be in jeopardy. Good. This is just, it's so bad. It's so, it's so garbage. But it, it's, it's also a good thing because it is an indication. It's an indication that we are winning and they are losing. It's an indication that they can't, they can't refute our arguments. Anyway, yeah, that's, um, that's, that's all that I can deal with for now. That's enough of that. What a joke.